I want to bring in former advisor to President Bill Clinton and co author of Armageddon How Trump Can Beat Hillary. Dick Morris is with us right now. Dick, good to see you. Good to see you, Rita. You were such an important aide to Bill Clinton. And now you've moved to, some might say, the dark side. You're, you're working with Trump. <laughs> I, I saw How did the, that transition happen? I saw the light. Well, you I, saw the light. I, I've known Donald Trump ever since I was a boy. Uh, my father was his lawyer. And, uh, and I've known him and liked him my whole life. Uh, the key thing that we have to understand about Hillary is that she changed over the last 20 years. When I worked with her, she didn't care much about money. She was kind of a hippie. Uh, she, sometimes she got money because she wanted power, campaign money. Now she wants power to get money. Uh, that marriage has gone from a romance, which it once was, to a partnership, to a RICO, a racketeering organization, wow. where Bill, <laughs> Bill passes the bag yeah. and Hillary uh, and giving the speeches, and Hillary does the favorable actions to help companies. Did, did how, do, wait, wait, how, how do you get, how do you get to this point? Uh, give us the backdrop and the evidence to, which leads you to this. Well, the the most graphic illustration was widely reported in the New York Times, which is that Russia wanted to get to control 20 percent of. America's uranium reserves, and they needed approval of the State Department to do that. And Hillary gave it to them the same week. Her husband gave two speeches in Moscow for a million dollars each from an agency thinly veiled for the government. These are not campaign contributions. These are not Clinton Foundation donations. Wow. These are personal fees put into their pocket. I don't see any difference between that and a paper bag of 20s. How do you argue that? How do you argue that? They wanted something in Russia. Hillary Clinton, as the head of the State Department, gave it to them, and then Bill Clinton w was paid a million dollars two times. Yeah, but it still just doesn't seem. And it to wasn't be just something. It's 20 percent of our uranium stockpile. 20 percent of and our the uranium. The United States is not self-sufficient in uranium. But Dick, we've seen Hillary. It, the the polls swing in favor of Hillary Clinton now in a head-to-head uh, -head general election matchup. You're making the case that that's not going to be the same come November. Well, Donald I, Trump is going to. Trump be has to do a better job of reaching the Bernie Sanders voters. I make the point in the book, Republicans... Do you really think that's reality? Oh, sure it is. That there are people who that's are Bernie Sanders of the, supporters, that's the point and they'll of the go to Trump, I believe That's it. the point of the Brexit vote. I used to be their consultant over there, the Leave Forces. And they got as many votes on the left as they got on the right. Labor and conservative voters both voted for them. The world is round. The point is insider-outsider. And when you look at Hillary's associations with the major banks, if Trump says he's going to break them up, if Trump says that he's going to reinstate Glass-Steagall, that he's going to regulate but derivatives... But what if she runs with Elizabeth so Warren? Is it just... he, well, it doesn't matter it's what her positions are. Mm. And if Trump stresses that stuff, he can get the Bernie Sanders vote. Is, is that the future of the Republican Party? Is, does that become the outsider anti-establishment yes. party? And if so, how does an outsider anti-establishment party become the establishment running the country by winning and let me ask, but let is me that, ask you is that yeah. the, go back to the first question is that the future of the republican yes. party is it no you, longer the party of conservative ideals is it the party of outsider anti-establishment it's the party of it, they switch roles with the democrats they become the party of the working man and woman and the democrats become the party of the wall street establishment and let, let me and hillary's candidacy epitomizes yeah. that great point but and to sandra's point about these are national polls remember of course the presidential race is not a national race they you, you can pull nationally we don't vote nationally we vote state by state mm. for 270 electoral votes and they're tied in the swing state still uh, within the margin of error florida ohio yeah. pennsylvania and he may even switch some some purple or some light blue oh, so states you, you just so that's now where a bump trump for Hillary wins. because of, yeah. cause she just clinched the yeah. nomination right but one of the key things we have to do we meaning people who are opposed to Hillary is not to give up on the history of Hillary Clinton there are so many scandals over so long. Twice, she came within a whisker of being indicted. She ordered the travel office firings. She was asked under oath, did you order the firing? She said, no, I didn't. She wasn't indicted because technically she wasn't in the chain of command, and therefore she could not technically order the firings, even though she ordered them. Hmm. Uh, the, there was, there's, and in this book, we talk about all of the scandals, all of the lies. The other thing that's important, which is how you look at this email scandal, is Hillary would rather 
have the Chinese and the Russians have access to her emails by hacking than the American media by using the State Department server, which was discoverable in Freedom of Information. Why